While the Anna branch receives permanent flows, the ecology of Chowla, with its semi-arid climate, can only be sustained by regular inundation across the floodplain. Such inundating flows have decreased significantly as a result of river regulation, over-extraction and the prolonged drought. Climate change predictions show that we can expect further reductions in inundation frequency. Historically, Chowley used to receive um, broad-scale floodplain inundation about every two to three years, so that's about 45 times in a 100-year period. But these days it happens more like, on average, about 12 times in a 100-year period. Prior to the return of high flows in 2010, the Chowla floodplain endured about 14 years without significant areas being flooded. On places like the Chowla floodplain, if you don't get flooding, the groundwater starts to rise. And once the groundwater starts to rise, because the groundwater is very salty, that brings salt up into the root zone of the plant. In some cases, it can get really bad that it's even too salty for the, the salt tolerant species and you get areas where there's salt scald and bare soil. Before the flood, especially in the areas that were flooded, we were just starting, to, we were pretty much steadily seeing a decline in the number of species. In 2009, the year before the flood, there was no watering. Of the 80 odd sites that we surveyed, there was only like 17 species recorded. About 50% of all of the, the quadrats that we looked at had areas where there was, it was completely devoid of plants. There was not a blade of grass in, in the area we were looking at. The outlook for this special place is bleak, unless there is more frequent and extensive flooding.